talking Grand Cherokee. We'll be doing an electric fan conversion using an aluminum fan shroud. It's got a 16 inch SPAL brand electric fan. Nice aluminum fan shroud. I already mounted the fan to it. I used uh, nut certs through the holes. That way I could simply just thread the screws into those threaded holes that way. So time for disassembly. already cut the bottom out of that fan shroud. Make it easy to take off. So we'll be doing away with the clutch fan. And we'll be doing away with the uh Close up there. You see it? Give it a chance dark background. I just don't want to focus for nothing. Alright, so that fine thread is what we'll be uh, getting for a bolt. It's like I said, I think it's a 5 16 on 24 thread. Probably get about an inch, maybe an inch and a half long. Don't need that long. Yeah. It's a half inch of dirt. Anyway, we get four of those. Only reason we're replacing those is just for the extra clearance. Because that electric fan should come pretty close to that pulley by the time we're done. I'm going to pull these out and clean them up. Let me get them all out. So the inline sixes, you don't have as much clearance as you do the V8s. So I made the fan where you can easily take it off and on using those thread certs I mentioned earlier. I use the biggest screw you can fit through the holes. all test fitting right now. All right, so, so far what we got, this is an old radiator. Um, I'm using that as a template for, uh, making the bottom mounts. I've already made them, screwed it to the bottom here, but they slide down inside your factory slots. If you look, you got some space in between here that's not gonna be airtight. So I went ahead and bought some uh, rubber, same stuff you use on doors basically. And that's gonna go on the bottom edge of this and press up against the radiator, make it completely airtight. And for the edges of the pan shroud, I bought some rubber edge molding just to keep it from uh, being metal on metal contact. But I want to apply this on the edges and put this on the very bottom 
we'll be good to go. All right, so I got the fan trap fully assembled and ready to go back in the Jeep. This is still on the test radiator. So I got your foam gasket down here at the bottom that seals up the airflow completely. And I got the nice rubber pieces all the way along the edges that will join up on that. These uh, nut certs are, have been put in place for screwing the electric fan in nice and easily. And I have an aluminum piece to go across the top of the radiator. So let's go up there and uh, get it mounted now. So here's a piece of aluminum I cut. This is three quarter inch by three quarter inch aluminum. Nothing special. You cut it the width of the radiator on the inside edge. So about 22 and an eighth inches. And what it's gonna do, we've already loosened all this. It's gonna sandwich itself in between your factory metal bracket and the radiator at the top. You're gonna bring the edges of it to where it meets up and down on the sides evenly. And go ahead and tighten your eight millimeter nuts back up on the rubber oscillators. This is giving you a good clean flat edge all the way across the top for the fan shroud to screw into. <clears throat> May have to kill that fan. I don't know how much it'll show up in the audio. You don't want to over tighten these, you'll snap them off. So now that part's good. <clears throat> we get two self-tapping screws and we'll go as far towards the outside edge of this as possible so you're not drilling into the fins on the radiator, but. I already checked the fitment on it a while ago. All right, give them a close-up shot of this. Oh, let me get it to focus. Still good. So that makes everything completely rock solid when you do that. Make sure nothing's moved. Slipped on me. Thought I lost it into the next dimension there for a second. Oh, it's full of metal bars, no wonder. Want to wobble because of it. Get a new one. Never fails. It, it does that when you get on camera. You have that with these big jobs. <laughs> I need to get a phone call right in the middle of it. <clears throat> Hello? 
Welcome back. <laughs> Okay, so now that the aluminum's mounted on the top edge here with self-tapping screws, everything's rock solid now to where it won't move at all. Um, let me get the fan shroud. Where is it? Right here it is. Let me get a shot of this. All right, so these are gonna go into the factory locations down there at the bottom of the radiator. They have little plastic pieces in there from the factory to keep the plastic one from flopping around, so I'm gonna have to pull those pieces out. Let me go ahead and do that real fast. Also aluminum. Yeah. Reach down there and snap that sucker out. Let me get a close up. Oh, I think I already did. Yeah, but we're going to do it live. Yeah. So here's a piece that was originally down in those slots at the bottom. So save that one and add it to your eBay collection of things to sell. Yeah, it could be worth a couple $3,000 or something later on. Uh, every one of them we ever see has been missing. Exactly. It's the only one around. Oop. There it went. Looks like we're good everywhere. Yeah, it's locked in at the bottom. <clears throat> it's so locked now. in tighter than Dick's hat band. I mean, banged. So now, up here at the top edge, you already got three holes that's pre drilled in the fan shroud. We're using some self tapping screws to go into them, to go into that aluminum piece that we added. Milwaukee tools, right angle. Make the easy work of it. Makes it like it's not even a job. Make sure we're lined up good. I think so. And they're pretty good. I guess I'll go ahead and put the electric fan in place. Also got the the bolts in there too. Yeah, the five out of the studs with the nuts. Yep, five sixteenths on twenty four thread for those. About three quarter of an inch long is what we use, but you could use a half inch. Yeah. Also has lock nuts on it too, or lock washers. Yeah. <clears throat> Gear wrench, not a sponsor. SPAL, also not a sponsor, but good fans. Yeah, they suck. <laughs> like they're supposed to though. The only thing on the vehicle that sucks but in a good way stubby screwdriver pittsburgh, pittsburgh also not a sponsor <clears throat> it almost kisses that water pump I'll have to torque it up and make sure it clears it. Yeah. Of course, I ain't got everything screwed in place all the way yet. The bottom of it's still coming out. To put these last two screws in. Still pretty easy to get to. Yeah. Straight 
struggling with that one. Just ain't got the right tools. Use a camera to assist me. Looking at, at it over on this angle, I think it, it might hit if you want in crooked. Still crooked. Here, I got it started now, so now I can use my right hand. You're crooked. Back it out and straighten it out. Here, hold on. Do okay. All right, so now the fan's in. Nothing left to do now, but Bolt in the radiator support at the top. Here's what she's looking like so far. Try to scoot this thing as far forward as I can. Yeah, you don't want to mess that motor up. No. <clears throat> Kissing it right now. I was about to drill those holes out before he bolted it all down. Try to move it further forward. Oh man. Yeah. All right, so here's the inline 697 Jeep Grand Cherokee. We did the electric fan and aluminum fan shroud set up on this one. 16 inch S Pal brand electric fan. It's got a little bit of clearance between the water pump. We had to uh, replace those uh, four bolts right there. That was originally studs for the clutch fan. So they're, uh, I think, 5 16 on 24 um, thread pitch. Uh, three quarter inch length is going to be your maximum length. Any longer that uh, contacts the water pump. But it fits, there is clearance. We uh, power braked it, you know, mashed the brake real hard and gave it the throttle. And if it does anything, it moves further away from it. It moves up, if any. So it clears it pretty good. Looks good. Got plenty of clearance down here for the power steering box, as you see. So everything looks good. We hadn't done the, the wiring uh, permanent yet, but see, there is clearance between all this. I can probably fit my finger in between it, maybe. It'd never work if you had just the studs in it, though. But my brother re drilled the holes here to move this whole metal assembly a little bit further forward to give you that a uh, little bit of extra clearance there. All that does is tilt the radiator forward just a little bit. Moves your hood striker a little bit further forward, but everything seems to be working just fine. So, looks good. This one runs nice and cool now, all the time. Just what the doctor ordered. Just what the mechanic ordered.